Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. hot dog chili. I took two tablespoons of butter and I melted it. And I fixed it to put my hamburger meat in. So how much hamburger meat do you use? This is a pound. Okay. You could easily, I think, divide this in half and do a half a pound if you were not very many people involved. Okay. And I'm going to just brown this up a second. So this would be a one skillet. Yeah. And it's very, yeah. very simple. There's not a, you'll, once you put your water in after everything is in there, all the seasonings and everything, you put your water in, you cook it on uh, low or medium low until all the water evaporates out of it. And then you, you have more or less like a, a not totally dry chili, but a good hot dog chili sauce that you can put on your chili dogs. You can put this over french fries as well. Wow. And it has no tomato in it, so it's safe for you. Yay. All right, while it's doing that, I'm going to start adding in some of my seasoning. So this is a recipe you and Roger created? Yeah, about 15 years ago. We were um, trying to replicate a little hot dog stand that was in, in our hometown. And we were we were fooling around with multiple res recipes trying to get something close to what it was. And this is the taste that we landed on that we thought was closest to like it. This is minced dried onion. And then I'm going to put salt. And then pepper. And chili powder. Is it spicy? No. It's not. Not spicy at all. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm going to continue mixing and browning. Now, do you put ground mustard in that? Because I see that there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Thank you for... I pulled it and then I forgot to put it in. A teaspoon of that. I pulled it and forgot to put it in there. <laughs> okay. Now all we have left to put in is um, water and your bouillon. And my bouillon cubes. Now, what is it about the bouillon that makes it tasty? It, it, I like using chicken over beef. Right. It just adds another depth of flavor. Oh, okay. It's kind of like what I do with the meat when I make that gravy. I put um, beef broth instead when I cook it. Oh. It just gives it extra flavor. Even though I am putting water in there, I'm flavoring that water with the bouillon. Okay. So that's that's the whole deal with the bouillon. You can use beef if you like, if you like the beef flavor better, but even though this is beef, I like the chicken flavor bouillon best. Mm -hmm. Once I get this all browned and everything, then I'll put the water in and then I'll just turn it down to low and then let it go for like 15 minutes. Oh wow. 
and all that water will soak up and evaporate. Oh, really? And it'll okay. just thicken it just a little bit. Cool. That's so interesting that you did a dried mustard in there. Is that just because a lot of the recipes that y'all had looked at had dried mustard in it and y'all mm -hmm. wanted it was just a taste you required? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something. they didn't have dried mustard in them. No kidding. And when I was in desperate times, like if I didn't have any dried mustard, I used yellow mustard, but it's not as good. Yeah. You know, it didn't have quite the same flavor. I tend to try to keep enough dry mustard on hand now. This is about ready. We're almost there. I think we actually could add the water. And then you'll see something funny when you add the water and the bouillon cubes. It's really interesting. It, it just like, you can instantly see where the bouillon cube is in there. It'll start bubbling and turn yellow. Really? Yeah. Okay. And how many bouillon cubes do you use? Three. It's quite a bit, actually, for the size of pan you have. But it, yeah, the flavor is. But that it's whatever was with your flavor palette that yeah. you were. Yep. Let me get this down under the water. You can actually see it. If you watch that spot right there, you'll see it start to bubble up. Yeah. That's so interesting. Mm hmm It's like it had a reaction or something. Maybe it has something to do with the other chemicals inside of like the mm -hmm. like the um, chili or the ground mustard. Mm -hmm. And how long do we let this simmer? 15 minutes. I'm going to turn it down here in a second. So that one melted already. You can't well, feel it. This one's almost melted. I could feel that one still, I can feel a little bit of that one, but that one's gone. It's already melted in into the chili. Woo! It's hit into the hot dog chili. It's hot. Be careful. <laughs> Splashing yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We'll come back when we're ready to put this onto our hot dog and show you how delicious it looks. Yeah, oh my gosh. It, it will reduce down. The liquid will. We'll show you before we get ready to put it on the hot dog bun. It's just to show you what it looks like and everything. Okay, so here is Roger and Elsie's famous chili dog sauce. I gotta try this. It looks really good. That's really good. All right, guys. We will show you what it looks like on the chili dog and we will see you guys in our next video. You guys have a great night. Getting ready to make our hot dogs here. We are doing Nathan's and we are going to fry them up and then we're gonna make slaw dogs and we're gonna make chili dogs. So we're gonna do videos And our mom too. will probably eat a sauerkraut dog. So we'll yes, see. She will. I'm ready. We'll show you what it looks like when we get ready to assemble these. We just gonna fry all these up. Have some good eating, y'all. Hey, y'all. Now we're on to our second hot dog. And this is our chili dog. You can put mustard, ketchup, whatever you want on it, as, as previously stated. And then load it up with your hot dog chili. The homemade hot dog chili we made a while ago. I am ready to eat now. This looks yummy. So go, come and grab a hot dog and eat a hot dog with us, y'all. All right, we will be back shortly. See you in our next video.
Elsie. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe.